for Ben. This wand. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday, happy Memorial Day weekend. We're kicking off another vlog. This one's gonna be a weekend vlog since we have three days off. I really need to cut this plastic off on my seat. When they gave me my car, they left like a ton of random plastic on it. Oh, I forgot to shut the garage, hold on. Anyways, good morning. I'm getting ready to go head to a coffee shop and then I'm getting my hair done today. We're going blonder for the summer. My hair is honestly like not that bad down here. My roots are pretty bad, but I'm just like so ready for a little hair facelift because I haven't had my hair. I haven't had my hair colored in about six months now, I think. I think November was the last time. So I'm really excited to get a hair refresh. I feel like whenever I get my hair refreshed and like just a new color in it or spruced up blonde look it just makes me feel 10 times better i don't know i feel like that's like a universal thing though that when you get your hair done it just makes you feel 10 times more confident so i'm excited to get my hair done i'm gonna go run and get a coffee and like a little pastry because there's like a there's a coffee shop near me that does gluten-free pastries that i just found out through the google reviews online so i'm gonna go pick that up and then i'm gonna head to my hair appointment and i will see you guys after this is the before I'm gonna give you guys better lighting. This is the before, as if you guys don't see me every day in the vlogs anyways. My roots are pretty dark. Down here is pretty blonde. I like actually really like this color, but I would like it all the way through my hair. It may be just like a little bit blonder, but the roots are giving brunette. I used to be a bright blonde kid, and I feel like the older I get, the darker my hair gets, which is fun. Wow, the lighting is kind of bad. I normally don't like eating in this car. I mean, I only had it for a week and this one's super crumbly. So I don't know, we'll see how this goes, but I'm starving and I only have 15 minutes until my hair comes in. I'm gonna try to do this in the least messiest way possible, but I got a chocolate chip gluten-free muffin and an iced vanilla latte decaf with oat milk. I feel like this is a good combo. Although this, this muffin is looking pretty messy. Love that for me. Now let's try the latte. I think we're gonna need to mix her up a little bit. I'm like, how do I do this in the least messy as we <gasps> proceed to make a mess? Okay. Oh, cool, still dripping. I bought a ton of essentials from Walmart the other day for my car. Wet ones was one of them, and they are coming in handy right now. I honestly kind of want to buy like the wipes made for leather but i need to do a amazon order but shout out to wet ones saving the day okay anyways now i'm gonna try this and then we're gonna go because i'm gonna be late 10 out of 10 so good mm. i hit the spot this morning all right let's go get our hair done Okay, I'm back from the hair salon. My hair is so blonde. I truthfully don't know if it's ever been this blonde in my life. My mom said it reminds her of my hair when I was little. My hair used to naturally be this blonde. And then as I've gotten older, it's gotten darker, but it is incredibly blonde. I think it's gonna look good when I have a tan. Right now, I'm. it's questionable since I'm pale, but I feel like I like it. I think I'm just not used to seeing myself with this color, but she does a great job. She always does a great job, and I also really love the way that she curled my hair. I swear, I can never get curls like this on my own, but every time I leave the salon with my hair done and curled, like, it's the best my hair has ever looked, so I love that for me. I just came back home to eat a quick lunch, drink some water. I'm pretty sure the coffee that I had this morning was not decaf because I literally feel like I'm about to run through a wall. I feel like I had caffeine and I haven't had caffeine in months. So I don't love that because I asked for decaf coffee and I'm pretty sure 
it had regular coffee in it. That's awesome. <laughs> Beside the point, we're getting ready to go to Old Navy because Old Navy, I guess, is 50% off today. And I want to see if I can find some cute linen pants for the summer and anything else. And then we also want to go to Dick's Sporting Goods, which is right next door. We went in there the other day and these cobalt blue shorts caught my eye and I haven't stopped thinking about them. So I think we're going to go back and get those as well. I'll bring you guys along with, but I just wanted to show you guys how the hair turned out so different than what it was before. Definitely like way, way blonder, but I feel like she did a pretty good job. We are back. I'm gonna do a little haul. We weren't out for too long. I honestly don't feel that great. Not sure what's up with that, but it was a short outing. We'll start with Old Navy. The first thing I got is this basic gray t-shirt. Everything was 50% off today, like I was saying. I just don't own any like Heather gray shirts and I like the oversized Sachi vibe, but it's not super oversized in length. So this was a good find. And then the second thing that I got from Old Navy are these shorts. I just felt like it'd be a good cute swim cover up. They are green and white striped. They do have a button down that matches. But I tried on the button down and the material, the button down was like really, really scratchy and not comfortable. So I just got the shorts because for some reason the shorts don't feel like that. But I just feel like these will be super cute with a bikini under and like a white button up maybe or like an oversized white shirt. So that's what I got from Old Navy. And then from Dick's Sporting Goods, I only got one thing. I got these cobalt blue shorts from the dsg brand which is like the dick sporting goods brand they look super similar to like nike running shorts but they were half the price i think they were 25 dollars and they're really cute like i said earlier we went into dick sporting goods earlier this week or last week or something and i saw these and i could not stop thinking about them so i went back and purchased but i just think that they're very cute. I haven't tried them on yet, but I'm assuming they're going to fit. They're a size medium with like an adjustable waist. So love that. That's all we got out. I feel like there are a lot of good Memorial Day deals this weekend, but I don't know. I just don't want to like spend a ton of money because I just got my hair done. We just bought a car. The whole nine yards. For the rest of the day, I don't know what we're going to end up doing. It's really nice outside, so we could lay by the pool, but it's already three o'clock and I think it's supposed to rain here soon and the UV is only four. So we might just hang out. Honestly, I could use a nap. I'm a little tired. It's the contour. Cheers. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. We're getting ready to head out to run a few errands. Last night we ended up going to a brewery and we didn't get back until about like 9.30, so we just laid in bed, watched some TV, I watched some YouTube, edited tomorrow's vlog, and then went to sleep. So this morning we are up and at them. It's now 10 o'clock, I've been up since like 8.30, but we kind of had like a slow start to the morning. I just got dressed, I'm wearing my Hoka's, this Nike skirt, Lululemon top, looking very athletic. I look like I'm about to go play tennis, but really we're just running to the store to pick something up. And then I think we're gonna come back and have a pool day. It's supposed to be really, really nice today. I think it's gonna be the nicest day of the entire weekend. It's gonna get upwards of like 87 degrees and it's gonna be sunny all day. So we definitely wanna come back and lay out by the pool, get some sun, have like a very chill, relaxing day. So I think that that's what's on the agenda. I also, need to do laundry and clean up this room when we get back there are just some like few random things that need to be put away i think tomorrow i'm gonna try to get like out and about and not be at the house i think we're gonna go like shopping and return some things and i know there are a few like memorial day deals going on so i don't want to go like crazy with the spending at all but i do want to kind of check out some of the memorial day deals i never ended up finding the linen pants that i want for the summer at old navy yesterday so i'm thinking then maybe Abercrombie would have some, or Zara or Ritzia, but we have to go all the way to Tyson's to go to all those stores. So I was thinking maybe we could do that tomorrow, which means that today I just want to make sure that I'm being like a little bit productive, clean this up, do some laundry, and get my life together a little bit. That is the plan for today. My hair is growing on me. 
I really did think that yesterday it was like maybe slightly too blonde for my complexion but the more I stare at it the more I'm like I just feel like this makes sense for me it looks really really good she did such a good job so we're loving that and I also just like love that the curls that she put in yesterday are still in today because normally when I curl my hair they don't last this long so that's amazing <laughs> Hello you guys, update, because I haven't updated the vlog in a minute. We went and ran errands earlier and we ended up getting lunch out in Ashburn like while we were out there running the errand. Um, we were going to walk around the downtown but honestly the day was so stunning that both of us immediately wanted to come back and lay by the pool. So that's where we just were for the last two, almost three hours is laying by the pool. And now I'm getting ready. We leave for dinner in about an hour. I'm wearing this really, really cute dress from Nasty Gal. I'm not kidding when I say I think this dress was maybe $36. Like, so cute. The perfect color, the perfect, like, linen, flowy, loose, breathable summer dress. I just think it's adorable. And I'm pairing it with this bag that I got from Lulu's the other day because I feel like the colors match each other really well. I just really like it we're going to hibachi tonight i may regret wearing the dress to hibachi but i just really want to wear it i've had it in my closet for a minute and it hasn't been warm enough to wear it yet and i figured what better weekend to wear it than this weekend so that is the current fit i haven't decided if i want to do makeup or not i'm definitely going to probably do something with my eyebrows and maybe a little mascara but i'm pretty sun-kissed from earlier and I also put the Drunk Elephant Drops in my moisturizer, so like I'm looking a little bit tanner on my face. So I think we might go and like a no makeup makeup look, because I feel like that's kind of the vibe. But anyways, that is the current situation, the current plan. Um, I cleaned up my room just a little bit, aka I made the bed. I still haven't gotten to laundry because someone else is doing laundry right now and I don't want to intercept. So I'll probably either do it tomorrow or maybe just like Tuesday while I'm working. It's probably going to be the plan. I think I'm gonna go downstairs, hang out. We set up the switch yesterday, so maybe I'll see if someone wants to play the switch. We were playing golf, which I honestly forgot how much fun golf on the switch is. Like truly a game changer, but the one thing that we were saying that the Wii Sports on the switch is missing is baseball. I feel like baseball was like an iconic staple Wii Sport, and I don't know why they didn't put it on the Nintendo Switch version of the Wii Sport, but they need to bring it back, in my opinion. Monday. Today is Memorial Day. I haven't vlogged anything at all today and it's already four o'clock. We ended up going to Tyson's today and did a little bit of shopping. Goal was to find some good Memorial Day deals, although everything that I ended up purchasing was not on sale, which is very typical of me. I tend to lean towards more expensive stores and more expensive items, but it is what it is. I honestly didn't end up getting a ton, but I did get a few things. So I figured I would do a little haul for you guys of the things that we did end up purchasing. We'll start with the less fun items first and we'll start with an espresso haul. John got these blue bottle coffee pods, I guess for the morning. They're like the full cups. They re-released their limited edition collaboration, but this time with full cups of coffee instead of the Gran Longo, Gran Lungo, something like that last time. Then I got decaf espresso pods got two sleeves just because i've been craving making a decaf latte at home and i'm also slightly traumatized from the decaf latte that i got from the coffee shop the other day because i just don't think that it was decaf and it made me pretty sick to be honest because i had so much caffeine in it i'm just not used to caffeine anymore not that it had so much caffeine in it my body's just not accustomed to it anymore and doesn't react well that was like a whole ordeal so I'm gonna make my weekly decaf latte 
at home. Next bag that we have is from Aritzia. I only got one thing here. I always love the way that they like package things up. I just feel like it looks so cute. And I never want to unbox it, but the whole point of clothes is so that you can wear it and not leave it in the packaging. Got these really cute linen black pants. They're from a new brand that I didn't even know Aritzia sold, or I've never seen it before. It's called Little Moon. But these linen pants are literally the softest pair of pants that I've ever tried on. They're so comfy. I like love the elastic waist you kind of wear them a little bit low rise instead of high rise they got them in a size medium but they're the sale pants really really happy with this purchase i feel like you can't really see it that well on camera because they're black pants but we love that and then the last thing that i got is from nordstrom i got a new strapless bra because my other one is like way too big and i hate wearing it because it looks so weird under all of my clothes because it's so big so I got a new strapless bra. It's actually from the same brand that I got last time I went to Nordstrom. I think I did like a bra haul on my channel a few months ago when we were in Denver. And I just ended up going with the same brand because I really like it. It's the Notori brand, which is a little bit pricier, but the bras like really hold up and are great quality. And I really, really like the one that I wear every day. So I just decided to stick with the same brand and I got the strapless version of the one that I wear every day. And it comes with straps too, if I guess you wanna make it not strapless. So that was all that I got from Tyson's. Tyson's was like very chaotic today because it was Memorial Day and so many people had off work. I guess the vibe was just to go to the mall. So when we first got there, it wasn't too bad, but towards like the afternoon, later afternoon time when we were getting ready to leave, it was just so busy. Like everyone was walking so slow. The lines for the dressing rooms were insane. The lines to check out were insane. It just wasn't the vibe. My patience timed out really fast towards the end of the day because of all the lines. So it was a quick trip. Well, it wasn't a quick trip. It was a long trip, but I didn't get much. And then John got actually a good amount of stuff from Abercrombie. And then he also got something from REI. Decent shopping day. I am pretty exhausted now, to be honest. So I'm ready to like take off my clothes that I have on, put on some comfy clothes, and then just hang out on the couch downstairs. We're actually in the middle of a tornado watch, which is not rare for Virginia. Since we've lived here, there have been quite a few. But it is rare enough that it's kind of weird that we're in a tornado watch, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't happen very often. And right now it's like blue skies and not raining outside. So I'm not sure where this tornado watch is coming from, but I think that that is just a sign to lay low, stay inside and have a chill rest of the day because we had a busy morning slash afternoon.